it's no secret that complex textures are hard. You could have a beautifully animated sequence, gorgeous lighting, and incredible composition, but oftentimes it's the textures that can make or break a 3D scene. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at this incredibly underrated software that allows you to take any image and make it photo real in seconds. When we're talking about textures, the main problem comes when you're needing to create a PBR texture set. Each of these textures are derived from the diffuse, or in layman's terms, the full color image. But therein lies the problem. How do you create all these textures from a singular image? Well, you could spend some money and buy Photoshop, use our toolset and create each of the PBR textures needed. Or you could save some money and use Blender. Do the same thing using nodes to manipulate the diffuse image and get the texture sets needed. However, both of these options are pretty time consuming and not very intuitive. Lucky for us, there's a free to use software that does everything I just mentioned, and it takes literally seconds to create fully fledged PBR texture sets. Materialize. Not only is this software free, but it was actually heavily used in the creation of the Uncharted series. When we download this and open it up, you'll see the UI is pretty, <laughs> is pretty bad. But you'll see at the top here all the different texture maps that we can create. So first off, we need to add in a diffuse. So I'll grab this rock wall texture from Google. Click this O button on the diffuse map and load that in. Straight away, you'll see the flat texture on a canvas. You can move the model around and change the lighting with these controls down here. But let's now make all these texture maps starting from the left. First, come up to the height map and click create. This window will pop up here and there's basically four sections that we want to take note of. We've got the height reveal slider that allows us to see the height map we're creating. There's the weight, the contrast, and then the final sliders at the bottom. You can play with each slider individually, but honestly, the presets are pretty good. Once you're happy with how the texture looks, you can come to the bottom and press set as height map. Now, each other map here is essentially the same thing. So you can click the create button, play with the sliders until you get the result you want, and then hit that set as map button. Once you have all your maps created, you can click this show full material button to preview your texture set. And just like that, you have an amazing full PBR material with basically no effort at all. Hey, that reminds me of another button you can click with basically no effort. Now, obviously with these textures, you can save them out as a PNG. Make sure you've clicked the file format PNG and click the S button on each texture. Then it's just as simple as applying this to your model in Blender and you're good to go. So now we know how to make awesome PBR textures in essentially no time at all. But there's still one massive problem I see a lot of beginner artists make when just starting out with texturing. And if you'd like to fix that, you'll want to watch this video right here. 